Okay, so now we're going to, for really reals, actually do a vlog. The vlog for today is going to be about the book I just finished reading. Let you see it there by a guy named Rob Dunn. This guy, there he is on the back cover. He's kind of like a punk, but he's a scientist. <clears throat> and um, this is a book, basically it's all about our, uh, our response to other animals, um, specifically uh, predators and uh, parasites. Why we're a little crazy nutty around uh, things trying to eat us kind of makes sense, but now that we don't really have things trying to eat us anymore, it leads to a lot of um, social anxiety and things like that, which kind of makes sense, I guess. And then there's, um, I guess, some interesting newer stuff like about what the appendix is for. So for a long time, people just removed it because, you know, you could get sepsis and die. And what does it do anyway? It doesn't do anything. It's like a, a tail, right? A tailbone, if you don't have a tail anymore. <clears throat> but apparently it's not. Excuse <coughs> me. Actually, the appendix is a um, basically like a store of our gut microbiota. It's where they live. It's where they're grown. And actually, part of our immune system uh, does the growing. There um, is increasing evidence that um, IgA, I think it is A. I'll post something down here if it's, if it's different, but I'm pretty sure it's IgA. Um, actually helps uh, the bacteria grow, specifically the type of bacteria that uh, ha we have a symbiotic relationship with in the colon, you know, the large intestine, where the poop is. So, really interesting. I've also uh, sent away um, a sample of my gut microbiota to have it sequenced. So what they do now is uh, a good portion of the bacteria that grows in your body doesn't grow very well in petri petri dish, so it's hard to study. But now that they have um, sequencing technology that's sufficiently inexpensive, they can just um, sequence all of the, uh, the DNA of the microbiota and then figure out exactly, uh, you know, put it back together and, and learn about what it is, where it fits in the tree of life, I guess, more so than any particular, uh, well, I guess they, they look at the genes and then they figure out what chemicals to mix and that kind of thing. But yeah, so did that. I haven't gotten it back yet. It's enough. The little kit. It's very exciting. So we'll get that back and we'll find out exactly what's living in my large intestine and then that'll be fun too so um, good book take the time to read it if you get a chance happy Sunday